Hey y'all, happy Sunday to you. I guess uh, Sundays are all about faith, but uh, this window, it's the kitchen window here. Faith was prevalent around this old place pretty much 24 seven. I've been thinking on it a lot today, a couple of thoughts and how many times my memo stood in that window right there and looked out over this old place, washed dishes, prayed over her children and grandchildren, and thank goodness prayed over me. Faith was pretty strong on this old piece of ground. I raised that family of six in an agricultural environment. Paid cash for everything. That's just how they, how they live. Got me to thinking about how uh, things are in the world today, and lots of reasons. But I wonder how many praying grandmas we have out there these days. I thank God every day for mine praying parents. This one, my dad today, and something I remember doing, maybe some of y'all can relate. Now, I was raised in a uh, little stricter Christian home than most, but uh, I've seen it time and time again over my life as I understand Christianity in my own way a little bit differently and better, and still there's truths there that I hang on to and that have pulled me through some pretty dark times, but uh, you let the chips get down and things look bleak in your life. Maybe uh, you've lost someone dear or you're on your life's last breath. You welcome those prayers from those that are prayer warriors in your past and in your life. So I like to celebrate them when I don't have to have them these days. It took a while to learn that, but I've learned it just the same. There's a guy that uh, saw a little antidote. <clears throat> he was a brilliant speaker and was speaking in a banquet hall for a large group of people and he spent a lot of time reciting poetry and the brilliant way that he was able to deliver it and different poems and different thoughts speeches so he was wrapping it up he asked the audience is there anything they'd like for him to read nobody said anything until a elderly man stood up in the back and raised his hand and the guy called on him and said yes sir so I'd like to hear the Psalm 23. The speaker made a deal with him. He said, I'll tell you what, I'll do that if you'll also repeat it after I'm done. The old man agreed and he sat down. This brilliant orator started off in such a polished delivery. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. As he continued, he ended the psalm that we all know so well to thunderous applause and standing ovation it came time for the old man to step and give his rendition he also read psalms 23 not quite as polished with his cracked voice and furrowed brow it took him a while to get through it there was no applause for his rendition there wasn't a dry eye in the room after the event, someone came up to the brilliant speaker and complimented him on his presentation and asked his thoughts on why the two responses were so different. He said, well, you see, I know Psalm 23. That old man knows the shepherd. Pretty powerful stuff. So in a simple way, I just seek to uh, live this old uh, life that we've granted in a way to maybe understand the shepherd a little more. I'm really appreciative for praying grandmas and mamas today, I guess. No, it ain't Mother's Day. We can appreciate it other days, can't we? But uh tell you, what a firestorm the last day or two have been. Pulled up here at midnight <clears throat> back in April of last year in a U-Haul with Mom and Dad and my son. Everything I owned in it wasn't much, but... Uh, Parked it and went and bedded down and moved back in this old place the next day. And it's been a lot of work, but uh, a lot of joy since then. Looking forward to a lot of work this year. It was easy to beat back these old bushes, but tackling these outbuildings and some of the disrepair on the home and other sheds is going to be quite a task, but I, think, I believe I'm up to it, so we'll see what happens. But uh, really wanted to thank you all for joining us on this journey thus far and looking to even better days ahead as we 
opportunity to celebrate the good that makes us Americans and decent people. I think we'd all do well to go back to that. Kind of appropriate being here in the arguably the oldest town in Texas. I guess I'm an old soul, but that's all right too, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to load up and head back toward church there in Huntington for an evening service. And uh, then we'll get back to the work week, won't we? Well, y'all uh, find an opportunity to learn that shepherd a little bit more this week. And maybe uh, that'll give you a little guidance to be a little brighter light wherever you stand. But uh, hold on, don't give up. We can, uh, we can all make it if we stick together and simply be kind. Let me do a quick roll call and I got to get on the road. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mason? How are you, buddy? Let's see, there's Kathy. Oh, I got three eggs today, so a little dip in egg production, but hey, I'm not griping. If there's one, I'm happy <laughs> at this point. It is. It's a beautiful evening, Caroline. There's Roxanne. How are you? Miss Mary, thank you. Margaret in San Antonio, sunny and cool. That's pretty much what it's been here. I believe it's about 45 right now. We're going to dip below freezing just for a little bit, but we'll come right back up. Hey, Helen. Yeah, that's a powerful song. My, uh, speaking of songs, my uh, granddad, my dad's father, uh, he had a life insurance policy, Psalm 91. If you don't know it, read it, you'll understand it. But uh, I've got that old Bible in there on the sewing table, open to that in his honor. Good verse. Let's see, there's Trudy. How are you this evening? I believe that's everybody. Well, I'm going to let y'all go and get on the road. And got a busy work week ahead. I know all y'all do, but let's uh, continue to make an impact. And, our own little pond. Maybe that ripple will spread to a little bit bigger wave. And all the, uh, we don't have to look at the negative stuff. It's too busy looking at the good stuff, right? <laughs> Y'all have a good evening. Be the light. We'll talk with you later.